Howdy! Hi folks, so it's been a while since I've done a video just straight to camera. <clears throat> I've been a bit lax lately with my vlogging. It's getting really busy on site but I am doing my best. So, this video, I wanted to talk about mini breaks. So I've just come back from a three day break over the bank holiday in Cornwall. Um, and yeah, the reason why I wanted to talk about mini breaks is because I take a lot of holiday. Um, last year and the year before, on average, we did between six and eight holidays a year. And these were pretty big holidays, like two weeks at a time. Now, why do I take so many holidays? Well, the job is pretty stressful. But more importantly, I take holidays because I love exploring and I love visiting other countries and I grew up um, travelling. That's what my parents did. Every school holiday we went abroad and it was amazing. Um, and I would rather spend my hard earned cash on travelling than I would, I guess, on materialistic things. I put a huge amount of value against travelling and I think this is because whenever I go anywhere or have a mini break, even if I am filming, um, I always come back feeling replenished. But more importantly, I have uh, ideas that start to come and tap the tiny brain and be like, hey Michelle, what about this idea? You should do this. And I don't know why it's trouble that does that um, or whether it's just that I completely take myself out of work mode. Um, either way, it's great for me to do because I start thinking about past projects that I've done film-wise, future projects that I want to do, and for this YouTube channel, um, I don't just want to be doing ad hoc videos on site, so I want to keep you up to date with progress on the construction site and the project, but I also want to be providing more um, valued content, I guess. For anyone out there who does want to go into construction, whether it be engineering or just the industry, or any girls out there who are trying to get into an industry where it is male dominated, I want to try and give as much information or share um, any experiences I've had over the 10 years that might help you. So if anyone is watching this and they have a burning question but don't feel like they can ask it, please do just Put it in the comment section below i'll respond to any comments anything that i can do to help i will so going back to traveling and the creative side and my mind spinning and michelle's crazy ideas um i will talk more about those in future videos um this video maybe i should explain real briefly that outside of construction i also make short films uh, i started out making horror films and directing and producing and my films have gone on festival circuits around the world, just tiny ones but nonetheless they've done quite well. Um, I haven't made a film in over 12 months so these last three days in Cornwall I've kind of been inspired to, there's been an idea basically that's been fizzing around and swilling around in my crazy brain and now I feel like the time is that I should write the script. So. That is another side of me to the engineering, which I'm going to discuss more in these vlogs because it's kind of cool and fun and perhaps I could share some experience about my film work with you guys as well. Uh, okay, um, I also have been writing about my experience in construction. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it yet, whether it's going to be like a funny thing or whether it's going to be serious, but I'm going to spend more time doing that. I also have some more travel planned in, yes. Um, I have a trip to, actually I'm going to keep it as a surprise because you don't even need to know. I'll just be like, hey I'm going to, ta-da, um, interesting. Yes, okay, Cornwall, I will be going to Cornwall more often. Um, we have now a second home in Cornwall, thanks to my parents. So I am looking forward to going down there and doing some more little cool, probably more creative um, videos down there rather than like a vlog format. I want to try and expand on my filming skills. Ooh, yes. Um, using the drone, so I flew the drone this weekend to get some cool shots, maybe like two shots, but I'm getting to 
precious over the drone since I had the crash and I was a bit scared to fly it over the sea and I just need to be like, you know what, if it goes, it goes. It'll be the most expensive, heartbreaking loss, but it's just a drone. So I will fly the drone. I think I've waffled a lot in this video, but hopefully there's something in there that's entertaining or of use or I don't know, whatever. So I'm going to end it here with some drone shots and then tomorrow we're going to get back to engineering videos. I'm out.